Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a quick and non-spoiler review of Moon Man number one from Image Comics. It just came out today at the time of this recording. This is the new one from Kid Cudi. It's his first writing duties on any comic ever. It's an original character and everything, completely new jumping on point. It is co-written by Kyle Higgins though, which seems to be kind of a common theme with like, you know, actors or um, singers coming on as uh, writing new comics without much experience. They'll usually hire uh, somebody else who actually has more like Kyle Higgins, especially in the superhero universe. He's doing Radiant Black and everything going on on that side of things with Image Comics. So he's the perfect person to helm this new kind of like cosmic superhero tale that Kid Cudi has in mind here. I'm not too familiar with any of his music, so I can't really speak too much on like how his themes and his music might relate too much with uh, the comic here, but he did le leave like a little note in the back just talking about wanting to make a character that a lot of people can relate to that represents a lot of different people. And right off the bat, this is going to be non-spoiler, so I won't get into too many like details on what actually happens in the issue, but I really loved it. I got, went into this with like zero expectations. Honestly, I didn't even quite realize it was coming out until it did today, and I just picked this up off the stands. Really solid first issue. It leaves you with um, enough intrigue to really want to go back for a second issue, but it does cement kind of like some basic ideas that really get you invested in the plot. It follows this main character um, who's an astronaut, just to talk a little bit about what the basis of the story is, um, who went on this space expedition under like kind of like a SpaceX type company, so like an alternative to any kind of government-owned thing like NASA, called Janus in this universe, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, who like controls a lot of the world's economy in whenever this is supposed to be set. Uh, and there's a lot of like activism against it because uh, of you know many various reasons. It's really just mirroring a lot of kind of actual real world events that are happening right now. And I'll show some interior artwork. Didn't realize I hadn't done that yet. The artwork in here was um, kind of like a jagged art style, very um, artistic. It almost kind of reminded me of um, Into the Spider Verse in a lot of ways. Just like really colorful. Not uh, super invested in like really uniform artwork, but dealing with like a lot of different colors, wide color palette in here. And I really liked like the kind of panel spacing and everything. The dialogue was really well written. We got some good characters in this first issue without it being too overblown or anything. Um, but it has to do with this space mission uh, under this Janus company that the main character embarks in. We don't actually get that really depicted in the first issue, but we know that the space shuttle disappeared for like a certain number of minutes. And that was like big public um, outrage or whatever. Like they don't know where they went. And now it just has to do with this character dealing with the repercussions of that and maybe taking on this like kind of superhero role, having to go back to his hometown and everything after the events of what happened. Here's a really good double splash page right here. Uh, so amazing artwork in this issue. Like I said, I just liked the main character. I liked this kind of whole like global event that they were putting on. Anything that's really wide scale like this is immediately going to be pretty intriguing to me. So just reading about like the synopsis, what the actual main concepts behind this were already got me invested, but I thought they pulled it off really well. Uh, and like I said, I just thought it was interesting how they were, I assume, kind of going after SpaceX with this. It really seems to be mirroring that pretty directly. Here's another uh, really good double splash page. Um, and activism against big corporations and stuff, but at the same time, just telling a really good superhero comic with um, a lot of mystery still surrounding it, but told in a good way, like we still get a pretty solid first issue. Uh, and it's definitely worth your time, I'd say. I think you get like 30 pages of story in here, and it's only four bucks, so... That's the Image Comics prices these days. They're really just ahead of the game in so many ways. We got uh, some backup, like, you know, behind the scenes stuff, layouts and colors and the whole creative process. That's always good um, for no additional charge, right? So big recommendation from me. I always give scores out of 10 for the single issue reviews that I do. For this one, I'm going to have to give it like an 8, I'd say. Really, really solid. I've got a lot of questions going forward, but it was a really well put together issue overall, and I'm going to be picking this one up ongoing. Not sure how long they're going to be planning on putting them out, actually. So hopefully it goes longer than just like a mini series length, like five issues or whatever it might be. But let me know what you, your thoughts are on Moon Man if you've already read it, already picked it up down in the comments section below. If not, it is a big recommendation, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.